Before we start this video, I would just like to remind you guys that the 300 Platinum giveaway is still going on, and this is open to all platforms. To join, just simply click the link I have provided in the video description below. Good luck and I hope you enjoy the video. So there are tons of endo farming method available right now in the game, ranging from normal star chart, to railjack missions. The best way to farm endo and get some other resources at the same time, even prime parts, is the void storm in railjack missions but, what if you just need endo? What if you just want to farm endo at the fastest time possible? What is the best mission for this? If that's the case, then the fastest would be the highest level arena in Sedna. By the way, you can earn about 2500 endo, and it was 3200 endo in just 2 minutes run was the highest I got when I do it with a team composition. The setup is a Necros, a Pilfering Hydroid, and a Max Range Larvanidus. All you need is group targets, then be sure to activate both Desecrate and Hydroid's 4th ability, and then, massacre the enemies with any slash weapons to get as much endo at the shortest time possible. Also, we did have a mod drop chance boost of that moment, which can only be bought from the Void Trader, or can be a reward in Steel Path levels. Just a quick tip, if you want tons of endo, then you might as well do the farming method if you have a mod drop chance booster. But squad leader, what if I don't have any team to farm endo, what if I just want to play solo, or stuck at playing solo? Then you can still farm endo in about 3 to 4 minutes with the setup I will show you. Take note that it is still the steel path level highest level arena, and you can get about 800 to 1000 endo per 3 to 4 minutes run, and about 1500 to 1800 endo if you have a mod drop chance booster. Now that you know the mission, let me show you the builds. You need a pilfering strangle dome cora for this endo farming, every mod you see here has its purpose. First of all, let's talk about enemy radar, this mod that highlights the enemies in your minimap allows you to farm endo faster, it gives you awareness of where are the enemies and don't go wondering where they are. Although Korra's strangle dome has an indication, since you can spot them easily as they get damaged by the ability but still, it's better that you are aware of the exact location of the enemies that are hanging in your ability so you can just chain kill them one after the another. Remember that we are talking of a speed farming build here. Next. A 265% range will allow you to chill in one spot of the highest level Sedna arena, that open area wherein there's an energy orb spawn. That is the most optimal spot for farming endo since all you need is to drop strangled dome, and just wait for enemies to get caught by it. And of course, you need the pilfering strangle dome to provide additional loot from enemies hanging in your ability. This farming setup doesn't require arcane energy anymore since I am using Xenurix energizing dash to get some energy and then, I'll wait up in the energy spawn area. After I get enough energy, I cast Pilfering Strangled Dome, followed by Dispensary. With Dispensary active, I can keep my energy at max capacity with the help of the Equilibrium mod. Instead of the usual Arcane Energize setup, I decided to put both Arcane Fury and Arcane Strike so I get faster DPS with my melee. Nuking DPS that is as we will be using the Glaive Prime with a heavy attack setup. The good thing about the Glaive Prime is that you don't need to aim enemies like normal guns would do. All you need is just throw the Glaive within enemy reach, and then press the heavy attack button to make it explode, dealing massive slash AOE damage that then deals heavy bleed procs if you have these mods in your build. This faction mod does ramp up the slash damage of the Glaive Prime, and I suggest that you have this mod so you can kill Steel Path Arena enemies easily with the Glaive Prime. If you don't have it, then you can settle for a critical damage mod in the form of Gladiator Might. But it would not be the same damage as with Primed Smite Grineer in your build. The slash damage and bleed procs scale well with this faction mod and this allows you to kill enemies at the fastest time possible. Now a few tips before you leave. The Korra build I have shown you is not good when the arena modifier has the lower ability duration. It's doable, but you will be busy recasting your ability and it would take some time to kill enemies. It's best that if this modifier appears, then you just leave the arena and do it again. Tougher enemies and as well as reinforcement modifier pose no threat to the Korra build I have shown you and in fact, it's better if the modifier is reinforcement since the more the enemies, the more chances endo will drop and the faster you can finish the mission. With reinforcement modifier, I can finish the mission in less than 4 minutes and it yields the most endo in a solo run. So that's all about it, 
Don't forget to join the giveaway and I hope we can do another Prime Access giveaway soon. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.